Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In this video I will show you how I made this presentation using two of my favorite tricks in PowerPoint that I can't wait to share with you. So let's get started. So the first thing to do is to change the color of your background and add a vertical guide with right click and then you click on add vertical guide and you're gonna create a rectangle all the way to the middle of the slide where you have your guide. Then you're gonna click on no line and change the color of the fill. And then you just have to add your text and your image. Now, the first trick is to get custom shapes in PowerPoint. So you're gonna download a font made of dingbats, which are basically just, uh, it's basically a font made of shapes. These are all free um, and here I'm going to use this one called Nymphet because they got like these ornamental shapes that I really want to use for a frame. So once you download your font and install it, um, if you start adding your text and change the font to Nymphet, for example, each letter will be a different shape. So. In this case, letter V is um, this ornamental shape. Then insert a rectangle, select both elements, go to shape format, click on merge shapes and then intersect. So now you have the shape as a graphic and not as a font. So now you'll be able to um, copy paste it, rotate it and to like anything you want with, with that shape, basically. So I'm gonna change the color to white. I'm gonna get rid of the outline. And if you hold control on your keyboard and drag the shape, you'll be able to duplicate it. And then you can just flip it. And for example, now I'm gonna select both shapes. Again, uh, control C, control V, if you don't want to duplicate it with control on your keyboard and then you can just flip it. So now you have this very cool frame, um, very easy to make. Now to create the snowflakes, I just used a line. Uh, if you hold shift with your keyboard, you'll be able to get a perfectly straight line. So it's just very easy. I just started doing this cross and then um, I just did like this diagonal. And again, I just duplicated, inverted, and then I just selected everything and made sure that everything was aligned. So go to shape format, align, align to center, align to middle. And then I just grouped everything with control G and changed the color to white. And then you can just duplicate that group to create um, the rest of the snowflakes. For the second slide, let's create a new blank slide. And now I'm gonna copy the same background color as the previous one and I'm just gonna paste my images. I'm gonna paste some of the elements from the previous slide like these um, snowflakes that we just did. And I'm just gonna add a little description for um, these characters right here. And the font that I'm using for the titles is Kota. Um, and I would suggest that you keep just two fonts, one for the headings and then another one that is a little bit more basic for the descriptions and that will ensure consistency across all your slides. And then I'm just duplicating that um, same text box that I did and just changing the names. Now we're gonna create a rectangle from the bottom of the slide to where the images start. And we need this for the type of animation that we're gonna do in a second. So then we're gonna select all the texts and right click and bring to front. And then we're gonna select the rectangle, click on no line, and then select the slide background fill. So it matches your background. Now select your first image and text and click on animations and fly in. And just repeat the process with the other two sets. Now we created that rectangle so the animation of our images start from somewhere in the middle and not from the bottom edge of the slide. Now let's make the animation a little bit more smooth. So click on the animation pane and then select all the elements that you have there. Then right click effect options 
and then on timing click one second and on effect uh, smooth the end and click OK and now you have this smoother transition you can even delay the animation of the description so they don't overlap with the titles so you just have to drag those from the animation pane just a little bit and now the animation just looks a little bit more clean so for the next slide we're going to start with a background color that is a little bit more dark than the previous that the color that we used on the previous slide and then you're going to insert a horizontal guide and a vertical guide and now we're going to insert a square if you hold shift on your keyboard you'll get a perfect square and then just duplicate it two times then you're going to select the three of them and group them with ctrl g and drag the group all the way to the right edge of the slide and then you just have to duplicate that group that you did and put it on the bottom part of the slide so then you have to ungroup everything with shift ctrl g and now you have all of these pieces and if you hold um, ctrl and shift with your keyboard and make them smaller you'll have this grid so now we're going to create a new rectangle that's going to take the whole area of the slide and then we're going to select everything now go to shape format go to merge shapes and click on fragment now select all the squares again and holding control on your keyboard let's make them just a little bit larger now from the format shape panel just click on no line and then change the color of your other shape the one that's not um, the, the, the squares basically and now you can change um, the, the color of these squares to, to whatever color that you want and to add the numbers just double click on the shape write your number and then you can copy the format from the previous slide with the format painter um, you can just apply it to the number once you have um, your number formatted you can just double click on the format painter and apply to the rest of your square so you copy the exact same format that you have on the first one and then you just have to continue adding your numbers now let's add some text and graphics for example here um, this would be like an advent calendar of my favorite moments from the movie and then we're gonna click on the first square go to animations and from the drop down menu click on fly out and from this arrow here you can change the direction where you want the element to go so I'm just gonna copy that same animation with the animation painter from animations and then click on the animation painter double click and apply to the rest of your squares and at the moment the animation looks a little bit jarring but we'll fix that in a minute so you click on the second square and then change the direction to go to top on the third square the animation will go to right and so on and so forth and these are essentially the windows that are gonna reveal the content th that we put behind it so in this case I'm gonna have text content but it could be an image or a graphic or something else and here I'm just formatting the text exactly how I want it to look like and I'm working on top of the squares because it will be easier to manipulate and once I'm happy with the formatting I just have to copy and paste it onto the other squares the last thing to do for this slide is to select all of those texts that we just did and right click and send to back so now they're hidden by the windows that we created to smooth out the animation we just have to select all the elements from the animation pane right click effect to options and then change the timing to one second and smooth the end then click on transitions and click on push and change the direction to start from right and then go to the second slide and the transition that we're going to use is page curl which is right here from the drop down menu 
And on the second slide, click on the first image, right click, start with previews on the effect. And that's how I created these slides in PowerPoint, using two of my favorite tricks, using fonts to create a shape and also using shapes to create a mask. And remember that I have templates available to download at lubutiappt.gumroad.com. They include instructions, animations, everything for a striking presentation. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and make sure to watch my other videos. I will see you in my next one.